Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and I am standing in my studio's brand new kitchen dining area. It's very exciting. If you guys missed any of the episodes where I make over this entire studio start to finish, I'll link up the entire playlist up here. Today, I'm going to be decorating and outfitting the office bar cart because sometimes here at Team AG, we want to have a little bit of fun, namely on Fridays after everyone's work is done. Let's get started. Before we jump into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. More about them later. I'm so happy to be working with them again. Truth be told, I have always found bar cart styling a little overwhelming. I'm not a huge drinker. I, I love a good gin and tonic, but I don't know, bar carts have always kind of overwhelmed me. I know that they're a really great decorative accent and I know that they're functional for a lot of people, but I just have never known what to outfit it. With. Like what are the key essential things you need on your bar cart? So I thought I would do some research and then outfit mine and then film it so you guys can know too. I'm assuming a lot of you live in small spaces and have small budgets just like I do. So this is kind of your like basic bar cart. I'm gonna show you how to make it really beautiful, a statement piece in your home, but also functional. So you can like make a cocktail or two for the people that come over if anyone is ever going to be allowed over in our homes anymore. Am I right? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is obviously get yourself a bar cart. Now, I have realized that bar carts are very expensive. On my hunt for one for this office, I was looking at bar carts that were like $500 onwards. So a great tip is to thrift one. There's so many great options on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji or Craigslist, any of those like secondhand online marketplaces. This one came from a friend of mine who is moving, so she doesn't have space for it anymore and I really like it. There's so many different shapes you can find, but really the style is totally up to you. And I think what's more important is actually how you decorate it. So after you found your bar cart, it's now time to outfit it. And the first thing you want to place is obviously your booze. So this goes on usually the top shelf of your bar cart on either side. I'm gonna be putting it on the left side. And there's typically five different liquors that people choose from. If you're outfitting a very simple bar cart like I am, choosing three out of the five of those is perfect. So I'm choosing whiskey, vodka, and gin. The next thing you want to put on here are mixers. Now this is where you're gonna need to research a little bit about the cocktails that you actually want to make because obviously a gin and tonic is not a gin and tonic without tonic water. And obviously a Negroni isn't a Negroni without the mixer Campari. So what I did was I just did a quick search about like popular cocktails or cocktails that I think I would like or my guests would like and got my mixers based off those recipes. So I got Campari. And I also got this beautiful bottle of Prosecco. For my final mixer, I have my favorite tonic water. It's pink, it's by Fever Tree. So basically, this is all of the like liquid I need. You can obviously put the mixers on the bottom of your bar cart or the top. There's no real like rule. For me, I like to have almost all of my liquids on the top, except the tonic water. I'm gonna put those on the bottom shelf. So we've got all of our liquids. Now it's time to obviously figure out what tools we need to make the cocktails. There are tons of sets on the market that give you like 12 different tools to make a cocktail. And through my research, I found that you don't need every tool. If you want every tool, by all means. But if you are on a budget and working with a smaller bar cart like I am, then these are kind of the things that I find essential. So you want a bottle opener for sure. You also want a jigger to measure out your shots. But honestly, if you have a shot glass, I would just use that. I just happen to have this. You also want some sort of stir stick for cocktails to mix them. And this is optional, but I really want to start experimenting with like fruity cocktails and adding in fun ingredients. So for a lot of those, you want a muddler, which juices the fruit or if you're adding mint or like anything that needs to be crushed up. 
this is what you use that for. Also, I thought this was for ice cubes, but now I'm thinking it might be for lemon or limes, but I just think it's really cute. And I feel like if you're having a party, just filling this with ice would just be like so cute and dainty. Honestly, if you're making lots of cocktails for a lot of people, you're gonna need like an ice bucket or just like lots of ice cube trays in your freezer. So keep that in mind. So when displaying your tools, because they're quite small, what I would recommend is layering in some decor to place them on to add lots of height. This is just like styling a bookshelf or an open shelf. You want lots of layers and different heights. So I'm just placing some books on this other side of the bar cart. I'm placing the tools on top and I'm leaving a bit of room because I'm gonna be layering in even more decor. Garnishes are the decor of the food and drink world. And I really wish I could take credit for that line, but I can't, it was Carla who said it. But it's so true, and I think these are like the, the piece de resistance to putting your cocktail together. And this is where you can kind of have a little bit of fun and experiment. I'm gonna add in some dried rose petals, which I've put in this cute little bowl. And then I have some lavender, which I've put in a jar, again, to help add height for visual interest. You could do citrus wheels, like dried citrus or fresh citrus, whatever your heart desires. So the fourth step is outfitting your bar cart with glasses. Now, there's no right answer to the kind of glasses you pick for your bar cart, but I think a good rule of thumb is to have varying sizes. So you might want a smaller glass like this for martinis, or a taller glass like this for spritzers, or you might want some cute little wine glasses like these. So if you guys watched my whole reno series of the studio, you know that Alana donated so much of her beautiful glassware to the studio. It's being stored here for now. So I'm just gonna start layering in glasses. Like I said, it's really up to you the amount of glassware and what kind of glassware, but I'm just putting lots of different sizes because we already have a collection of it all and it's gonna look really good. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making it possible for me to have a beautiful website. If you guys aren't familiar with Squarespace, it is the all-in-one platform to run your business. And the thing I love about Squarespace is that you can do pretty much anything on the platform. You can blog, you can have a storefront, or you can have kind of a portfolio page like I do that links out to all different websites. One thing I recently did was launch a virtual design package service, and I run this all through through Squarespace. So I send the clients their virtual design package via the website and it's super easy to navigate. Everything is drag and drop. There's no like coding needed and it looks really beautiful too. I know that so many of us right now are stuck at home trying to find hobbies to do or things to pass the time. And so many people are starting small businesses. And if this is you, if you are thinking of starting your own small business, I would highly recommend using Squarespace as the platform to launch it on head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then use my code which will be on screen for 10% off your first website and domain. Thanks again to Squarespace. Now let's get back into the bar cart styling video. So the hard part is done. You now have everything that you need to make a good cocktail on your bar cart. But now comes the fun part. You want to start decorating it. So a few ideas for decor for your bar cart. Anything from vintage decanters, and vintage decanters are actually a really good hack for hiding ugly liquor bottles. So if you get a good liquor that doesn't match your you know, aesthetic, just decant it into a beautiful vintage decanter. Other fun pieces of decor are books, like we added in earlier. You could do shot glasses, putting a tray, like a serving tray with things piled on top, candles, plants, just creating lots of layers and differing heights. And there you guys have it, our cute little new bar cart totally transformed. Look at it in all its glory. style this so many different ways, but I love how ours turned out and I can't wait to actually use it. Over 
before I go make myself a gin and tonic, I wanna thank you guys for watching today's episode. I learned so much doing this video and I hope that you did too. If you wanna see more how-to styling videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. A huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna start your own website or blog, make sure you use my code in the description box for 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.